you click on different menus, you can see that some of the letters are underlined. And if you press these letters on your keyboard, you will switch immediately to this menu entry. For example, if I press S, I will switch to the sculpt mode. So I click here, press S and I'm in the sculpt mode. Also works on many different places. For example, the shaders in the Cycles render engine. If you press here to choose another shader, you can see we have many underlined letters here. For example, if I want to add a diffuse shader, I simply can press D. Or if I want to add a glossy shader, I press L. And with this simple trick, you can easily navigate through different menus. This also works on two levels. If I press Shift A to add objects, we can see that the categories have different letters. For example, I want to add a mesh, I press M. And now I want to add a cone, so I press O. And while working with Blender, you certainly have your most use menu entries, most use objects and so on, most use shaders. And with the time you remember what letter stands for which menu entry and then you can work very fast and efficient. 